Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Titan Quest. Let's begin our search for the Telkine in the Valley of the Kings. We got some walking to do. But as always, we're going to be walking around everywhere, killing everything. Valley of the Kings is the one place I brought up where there are a lot of, uh, a lot of places that don't matter in it. Kind of like that area in Diablo 2. All the tombs. Um, and what I'm not going to do is I'm going to at least walk around the entire area, but I'm not going to enter every single tomb and clear it out. So that would take literally forever. Not literally, but it would take a really long time and I just... I don't want it. I don't want this LP to... I don't want like an entire episode just be devoted to me clearing those stupid things out. So I'm not going to do it. Kind of like a... I didn't do the labyrinth at the end of Act 1. So yeah, I'm not, not too worried about that. I'm pretty sure there's no like side quest related to any of those other tombs. So uh, yeah, I'm not worried about it. It'll be fine. It'll be a okay. Da da da. that up. Before I kill everything. It's because I'm... Um, bonus experience is very nice. It's always nice to get extra experience. Still wish I knew what the bonus was. Because I like to know that stuff, but... Whatever. I don't know if it's double, you know, like 150%. I do not know. Don't know, my dudes. Really do not know. Maybe somebody knows. Well, it's not me. Uh, it's trying to mastery, correct? Yeah. Pick it up. The Upper Nile? Interesting. Oh, yeah. We were in the lower now. That's where we were earlier in the game. I hate these things. I have a lot of health. So I'm dealing really good damage to them. I can think they just have a crap ton of health. Absolute shit ton. <laughs> it's usually like when we were fighting those statue things uh, in the, the Sphinx. I was only dealing like 60, 70 damage, and that was like a crit. Those guys, I'm dealing like two, 300 damage, and I'm still, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything to them. So I think they just have a lot of health. Yeah. Thebes outskirts. We are uh, getting pretty close to the end of Act 2. Like, really close. Which would be nice. I like Act 2, but uh, Act 3... I really like Act 3. Act 3 is probably one of my favorite. One of my favorites. Act 2 is probably my least favorite. But even then, like I said, I, I like Act 2. I don't think Act 2 is bad or anything. I just don't think it's as good as the other acts. Definitely have played uh, worse Act 2s in games. Like if I remember, I absolutely hated Act 2 in uh, Diablo 3. 
Act 2 and Diablo 2 isn't too bad. The thing that makes Act 2 and Diablo 2 so memorable for me is Duriel. That stupid boss. Duriel always gave me the biggest problem in Diablo 2. He still gives me the most problems, but... <laughs> yeah. Still... Not the best at Diablo 2. Despite playing that game for 20 years, I'm still not the best at it. But I don't, I haven't, I don't really play Diablo 2 as much as I play this game. Even though I love both. I absolutely love Diablo 2 and Titan Quest. I play Titan Quest more. Even though I would say that Diablo 2 is probably the better game. I just, I just play Diablo 2 a lot. I mean, not Diablo 2, I just play Titan Quest a lot. Titan Quest is probably my most played game of, like, all time. It, uh, feels, I feel, I feel pretty certain on that. Next to Diablo 2. Diablo 2 and Titan Quest are probably my two most played games of all times. Diablo 2, I don't know, like, Diablo 2 might outdo... Titan Quest, just because, like I said, yeah, I've been playing Diablo 2 since basically it came out, you know? So I feel like Diablo 2 might beat Titan Quest, just because of it's been out uh, longer. But Titan Quest is 14 years old as well, so I'm pretty sure it came out in 2004. I mean, 2004, 2016. Oh my gosh. 2006. I can't talk. Nothing. Pretty sure that's when it came out. I don't think it came out in 2005. I'm pretty sure it was 2006. I could always look it up, but I'm feeling pretty positive on that. Okay, well, back to it after being interrupted. You can't even be left alone when you live by yourself. already I need to drop some of this crap off especially the completed ones I don't need those in my inventory yeah for sure um, yeah, nothing nah, I'm not gonna pick that up I have plenty of energy potions 103 is more than enough we don't do that. I'm gonna actually remember when I get to the next town to sell some of these stupid potions. Definitely gonna level up soon. Put that new helmet on. See if it actually is better. I mean, I feel like it is better, but you know what I mean. Now it's a now it'll give me like 25 strength, I think. Maybe 24, because that one, that helmet, we'll see. We'll see what it does. We'll see what that helmet does. called spell breaker spell breaker that's an interesting name and very soon I'll level up yeah level 25 
60 more levels until I'm maxed out. Yeah. Getting close. Uh, put a point in there. Alrighty. Boop. Yeah, it's already better. Combined armor is not as good, but, uh... Alright. I could just take that out. Be good. It's 23... Yeah, I think I'll let's just go back to Memphis. Take me back to Memphis. So I can uh, hopefully afford that. All for me, like it. Boom. Cover relic charm. Yeah. Not cheap. I'll take it. Not as good armor, but whatever. I'm not worried about it. I ain't worried. You don't need armor if you kill everything really fast anyway, so... And do I need 300? Yeah, 300,000 experience for the next level. And I'm kind of curious of how this game deals with experience. Like, I wonder if it uh, is similar to, uh... Diablo 2, where, you know, the enemies around your level give you the most. If an enemy is weaker than you, then it gives you less. And, uh, also, if an enemy is stronger than you, it also gives less. At least that's how it works in Diablo 2. Uh, I have to look at the chart again, but it's, it, it's interesting. And when you get to level uh, 98... In Diablo 2, uh, enemies give, like, hardly any experience. There's one reason why it takes so long to get from 98 to 99 in Diablo 2. Well, in general, that's probably why it just takes forever to level up <laughs> when you're really high level in that game. Because enemies give you hardly any experience. I forget what it is. I want to say, like, 7% or something. Like, something really low like that hardly give any amount of experience. So you just gotta do ball runs over and over again. But yeah, I don't know if that's how it works in this game. I mean, clearly, enemies are like really below your level stop giving you experience. Like, yeah, with my level 68 character, level one character, level one enemies aren't gonna give me experience, but I, like, I don't really know. How it all works. But to sleep. Now stop sitting weird. This is the last time we fight these guys. You'll be missed, reptilians. You'll be missed. Let's see. Very fine crates. Still don't have enough for that. Alrighty. Yeah, nothing new. I don't think I have anything else I can really put on. I am going to uh, drop all these completed ones off that I don't need anymore. Oops. Let's 
so I can open up some space. Um, I'll drop this off. This I'll drop off. I'll probably just sell these. And sell that. It's a four. One Bye. more. Oh, yeah. Definitely give me some of my money back after spending it on that. That which they call a telkey. Let's get that. All right, let's my sell. My and armor are simply the best. Look for yourself. You will find no better. I just sold all the good ones. I'm stupid. I'm gonna. Oh shoot! Didn't think it did that. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, I accidentally sold, like, all the good potions. Was not thinking about that. I'm dumb. That was stupid of me. Alrighty. Let me to... Yeah. Highland Pass. We are on our way to... Valley of the Kings. We are gonna... Yeah, this is a good place. After the super long episode last time, I don't really want to make another really long one. So this is a good place to stop. Next time, we're going to make it, hopefully, to the Valley of the Kings, and maybe... Some things up? I don't know. We'll see how long it takes me to get there. Uh, so yeah, that'll be it for this time. Uh, see you guys then.